All right, I want to do a video on, it's not really a true vitamin. It's really, inositol has different forms. Inositol actually has nine different forms. And I'm getting a lot of questions. How does it work with insulin resistance? What about PCOS? Does it lower testosterone in males? Because I'm reading, I know it lowers testosterone in females. How's it different for males and how is it different for females? What's the difference between myo-inositol and d inositol What is the difference between those two? Because I'm really confused. What does it do with insulin sensitivity? How can I use this to help me lose weight? And again, it's not a true vitamin. So keep on watching. Thank you. Hi there, I'm Dr. Jawad, a chiropractor and a functional medicine specialist. Functional medicine is a science and practice of restoring health and reversing chronic health problems. I use specialized laboratory testing, not offered by traditional doctors, to discover the underlying cause of your current condition to create your individual health care plan. I do not look for the what that is causing your issues, I look for the why that is causing your chronic illnesses. So work with me and get the professional help you deserve to begin feeling yourself again. Click on the link below to schedule your free 15 minute consultation. We can talk over the phone, face to face, or over Zoom. Thank you very much and have a great day. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwad. If you're new to my channel, thank you very much. I appreciate new people coming in. If you're a repeat customer, I always re appreciate repeat business. If you're new, four things, please. One, subscribe. Two, bell three like and also leave a comment when you leave a comment for the new for the new people or the repeat people when you leave a comment actually what that does to the google algorithm it gets me a greater audience which i always appreciate the greater audience my subscribe my subs are growing tremendously in the past month i get the analytics all the time and i always appreciate you sharing my content the more you like the more you share the better cup of coffee I could afford. So I always appreciate that. It's not really a vitamin. It's what it, what it is. It's a stereoisomer. What's a stereoisomer? Basically what that means is two or more con uh, compounds, they differ only in the arrangement of their atoms. So we're looking at kind of like, I always say like a starburst. An isotol has many different types of subcategories, okay? It all depends on where the atom molecule is. There's two main types of an isotol. There's myo anisotol and there's d Anisotol. Now, these are the two most common isomers that are talked about when it comes to the anisotol family, which is actually really not a vitamin. Collectively, they make it into a B vitamin. So this is really good stuff. The supplement anisotol, I want to talk about the difference between myo anisotol and d anisotol because that's how I get a lot of questions about that, and they do categorically serve at different purposes. Now, with anisotol, when it comes to males and females, they work opposite. For the females, what is an isol good, an isol good for? For PCOS and acne and insulin resistance. So what that's gonna do, that's going to make the cells more insulin sensitive. So when it comes to the formation of PCOS, the females get the conversion of estrogens to increase testosterone. And this is where they get the acne, the hair loss. When men, it's the opposite. What happens with men is that we actually convert our testosterone to estrogen due to the same component, and that's insulin. When you're dealing with the body and inflammation, whether it be you're a boy or a girl, any condition that can make it worse is increasing insulin. So the main component here is always going to be if you could control the insulin sensitivity and make those cells more, less insulin resistant, then you're going to, for females, you're going to bring down the, you're going to reverse the PCOS. For males, you're actually going to help reverse too much estrogen, which will increase your testosterone. Because I'm getting a lot of confusing questions about that, about is it a nice at all? Is that good for men? Does it harm men? How is it good for females? Okay, so let's talk about an isotol. What I want to do is it's really an isotol. The difference between myo anisotol and d anisotol. Now the goal, the common goal is when it comes to an isotol or even the conditions of the body, you want to increase the sensitivity of your receptors. 
Now what happens is that if you're taking too many carbohydrates or you're too stressed out, cortisol, you're gonna make the cells less insulin sensitive and then that's where it's gonna cascade into any condition that you may have, that you may be suffering from. So let's go back upstream. If you could control the sensitivity of the receptors and make your cells more insulin sensitive, then you're gonna be able to reverse really anything, a lot of conditions that you may be suffering from. Now when it comes to anisotol, now it's good for, anisotol is phenomenal for PCOS, insulin resistant, acne, diabetic neuropathy, it's good for controlling cholesterol, it's good for insomnia, thyroid health. So when it comes to fertility issues, for men, it makes your sperm increase uh, motility, and for females, it helps regulate the menstrual cycle. Anisotol, it's collectively refers to molecules with a similar structure, which is the stereoisomers. Now, it has nine identical forms, and really the only thing that differs is the placement of the atom. This is what makes it have, has nine different types of anisotol. It's a sugar alcohol that's made from glucose. So it's not a true vitamin. So what it is, it's anisotol and adenosine monophosphate, otherwise known as AMP, and this is collectively, collectively referred to vitamin B8. Question is, what's the difference? What's the difference between myo and d -chiro? Because collectively, those are the two most popular kinds. Remember, there's many others, but these are the two most popular kinds. And they have different effects on the body. Now, when it comes to the differences, let's talk about myo. Myo anisotol, it's the most common stereoisomer of anisotol. That's why a lot of people talk about myo. Now, it's most abundant in the foods we eat, so we could consume it. We can consume it, we don't make it ourselves, but we can consume it. It's synthesized from glucose in the body, and the thing is it's effective on a metabolic profile. Okay, so let's talk about the benefits of d chironisotol. Now, the thing about d chironisotol is that we don't make it. So it's actually a derivative of myo-anisotol. It's not abundant in foods. Now, when we convert myo to d chiro it has an enzyme called epimerase. Now, epimerase, which again, enzymes make things happen. They help convert it's stimulated by insulin. So what if you're insulin resistant? Then you're not converting from myo to d -chiro effectively. So the key thing is, is to lower that insulin resistance, make it more insulin sensitive so the conversion actually increases. It helps reduce hyperandrogenism. Why is that so important with females? Because with females with PCOS, what is PCOS? Due to in increased insulin, what that does, it creates increased androgens. What are androgens? Androgens are your, the male hormones, the testosterone, the DHEA, and this is where the PCOS symptoms come in with the weight gain, with the deepening of the voice, with the hair growth, acne. Same, same effect, what happens with acne? It's too much androgen. So this is where anisotol is good for men and for females as well. So now the thing is, here's with anisotol, with the D-chiro, it's very similar, acts very similar to metformin. Who takes metformin? Type two diabetics, why? Because they want to, they want to make their cells more insulin sensitive, decrease insulin resistance. Now the thing about anisotol and metformin, metformin actually blocks the absorption of other B vitamins, which causes other problems down the road. With an isotol, there's less side effects. So the main goal is to increase insulin sensitivity because what, ha again, just to rewind, increase insulin, increase androgens. So going backwards, the main goal, especially with PCOS and acne, is that you want to make the cells more insulin sensitive. How is it, how does it differ with males and females when it comes to our hormones? This is a question I get a lot. So it helps restore the hormones, follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. Now in males and females, for females, what's gonna happen is that it's gonna help with fertility. It's going to help with the menstrual cycle. It's gonna help stabilize it. So it's gonna help, basically it's gonna help clip the ratio between the two. For males, this is the question that I get. It's, is it gonna increase or decrease my testosterone levels? It's actually gonna increase it because what's it doing? It's going to restore the follicle stimulating hormone and the luteinizing hormone, which is good for testosterone and sperm growth and, and motility. It's gonna benefit both sexes. In addition though, I always say this, you want to always watch your diet because what's the th why do you have 
this situation because increased insulin. What causes increased insulin? Too many carbohydrates, too much stress. I always say start with diet first. Okay, so now what's the dosage with this supplement? Now you can either take it together or you can take it separate. But the rule of thumb is you wanna do a 40 to one ratio. Remember, because myoinositol converts over to D-chiro. Okay, so when it comes to the dosage, now you can either take it separate or you can take it together. Now, when you, if you take it separate or, separate or you're looking at the dosage, remember, it's a 40 to one ratio. So you're talking about myoinositol to D-chiro. Why is it such a big ratio? Because it converts and if you're, insulin, if you're insulin resistance, that conversion is not going to occur effectively. So for PCOS, I always recommend with PCOS and fertility with males and females, you want to take 4,000 milligrams of myoinositol and 100 milligrams of d because this is going to help control the insulin levels, which helps stabilize the hormones. It's going to improve insulin sensitivity and the lipid and glucose levels. Okay, so I hope this helps. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I'll see you in the next video. Be good. Thank you.